Well, I think stem cell research, which has actually, as you know, been hyped enormously in the last five or ten years, uh, is actually deserving of all of that hype. I think it actually has not only the potential to help with disease and suffering and so on, but to change our attitude toward uh, human embryology and development. Uh, is giving us tools that we never had before to study diseases, study human development, uh, study human cells in a laboratory where before this we only had animal cells to study. Uh, it's going to have an enormous impact. It'll have an impact on the way we develop conventional drug therapy. Uh, we'll use human cells to do toxicity screening to make sure our drugs are safer. It'll save money and time bringing drugs to market. Uh, we'll be able to model human diseases uh, in the laboratory using human cells. Uh, I think it'll have an enormous impact. Well, I want to be able to treat fetuses with congenital anomalies before birth. And I think that with stem cell transplantation, we have an enormous opportunity to make a difference in this field within my lifetime. I think the interesting thing about stem cell biology is the discoveries that we make are often unexpected. So when people ask me what I really hope from stem cell research is I'm hoping for the unexpected. I'm hoping that somebody in one of these laboratories will actually discover something that I could not predict. And that's the power of stem cell biology. It really produces results that are often novel. And bringing together this many different researchers, I think somebody in one of the liver development labs or the diabetes labs might actually contribute something that would be very useful for repairing brain injury. There's a bigger problem of then how do we handle those cells and move to human therapies. And that's where being here on the UCSF campus becomes really valuable because we can interact with the immunologists and the uh, transplant biologists and the transplant surgeons um, who are uh, going to be involved in the processes of handling these cells, uh, protecting these cells, transplanting them into patients. Um, it really sort of gives us the, uh, uh, the entire pipeline. There is a lot of unknowns along this road that we have to, to scientifically approach. And, you know, doing science is difficult because the techniques are difficult, doing these kinds of transplantation is not easy, and you have to wait for these cells. I mean, there's a timeline that these cells follow their own rhythm, and especially with human cells that mature at a much lower rate than, than animal cells. We've gone from, I would say, uh, the lowest end of the spectrum in which a lab could function to a very high end of the spectrum, this beautiful new building that's been built here on Parnassus with non-federal funds that allows work with human embryos and human embryonic stem cells. Where things go wrong and that people very often think is that the future is coming. The reality is stem cell research has major impact already. Bone marrow transplantation, skin grafts. Why do you think that you can do skin grafts? Because you can expand cells in culture and reuse the cells to provide skin grafts. So many people don't realize, because that was from before the time that people coined all the stem cell. So they, they, they are there. So let's continue to build on this. With additional research, can we expand the possibilities? Clearly we can. Now, where things maybe go wrong in the public perception is novelty does not come with an aha moment. It has to grow. And there's no, it's extremely rare that suddenly you find something that you say, oh, this is a big breakthrough. In many cases, it takes a protracted process to come to this point. And in many cases, actually, you don't fully grasp the impact of what you have until you started putting together with some other things which come later. Our ability to fix things is highly dependent on the tools that we have at hand. And right now, stem cells are one of the most remarkable tools that we have in biology and in biomedical research to solve these broken things, these diseases that we're faced with. And so we are moving, it's like a big bulldozer, we're gradually moving forward, but slowly. 
because the knowledge that science is providing to society is incredibly valuable in very, very unexpected ways that might have to do not only with medicine, but with other aspects of our lives. And I think that that's one of our functions, you know, unraveling how things that we don't know work.